Hey everyone, Ed here with Michelle in the Great Indoors with Jason and Kathy from Ohio Cat. And Michelle, why are you carrying around a paper towel? Because I want to do somebody's windows or clean up a bounty spill. No, it is for the Skunk Festival in North Ridgeville, Ohio. Yeah, that could be used as an entry or any cash donation or whatever. I got my paper towel. But have you ever been to the Skunk Festival? Jason, have you ever even yeah. heard of a skunk festival before? No, never heard of I one. haven't either, but I think we're breaking new ground today. So we're going to go, hopefully, I left my clothespins at home. So we have no protection if this is doesn't go well, okay? Oh, I just don't want to get sprayed. If I have to smell it, so be it. <laughs> yeah, well, we could go at the campground that we're at. They have that car, that, that wash for dogs. We could run ourselves through that, you know? There you go. All right, let's get in there and check it out. Skunk Festival 2024. Hold your nose, everyone. <laughs> you know we're heading in the right direction when you see a, a van that says Skunk Haven on the side of it. There's a park over there for fishing. I think the Skunk Festival is right around the corner over here. Oh, yeah, there you go. We know we're in the right place. Skunk Fest. Who to thunk they would see the skunk? Fest sign. <laughs> oh God! This was your idea, wasn't it, Michelle? Mm -hmm. You saw this on Facebook, didn't you? I saw it on News Channel Five, oh. our local. Uh, and then you looked channel. it up on Facebook, right? right? Okay, that's cool. And you said that entry could be uh, either uh, paper towels or any monetary donation. Oh, we must sign a waiver before See, entering. See, look at. Okay. I did listen to the waiver. All right. Signing a waiver. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, and already we see a giant skunk. We got a little patch on our arm. There you go. See, the skunks are friendly, okay? <laughs> you want a picture with the skunky? Okay. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, you get a lot of signage saying, do not pet the skunk. And there's, what is that? The challenge to the skunk? What is that? I got to check that out. And there is an actual skunk right there about the albino skunk. That is so cool. Everyone wants to get in on the action. Cool. All right. The person with the skunk fence Look at that. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, the most cool. Unfortunately, there's music in the background. That is so wonderful. He's got his little jacket on and everything. That is so cool. He's Thank you very much. Hiya, hiya. Aww. There's a line over here for a reason. All these people are waiting to get a picture taken with a skunk. And Dick Goddard from Channel 8 was a firm supporter of these guys. This is the Skunk Haven people that we saw their truck outside. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get Michelle in line with this and get her picture taken with the skunk. How cool would that be? Like, comment, and subscribe to The Great Indoors. And there's Jason again. Michelle! There's a line over here for a reason. All these people are waiting to get a picture taken with a skunk. And Dick Goddard from Channel 8 was a firm supporter of these guys. This is the Skunk Haven people that we saw their truck outside. So I'm thinking I'm going to get Michelle in line with this and get her picture taken with the skunk. How cool would that be? Like, comment, and subscribe to The Great Indoors. And there's Jason again. Michelle! Is that a skunk? What's his name? Flash. Flash? I love the name. 
Did you adopt him through one of these places or did you come upon him yourself? Really? A pet store? So when you uh, adopt them, do you, are there like certain rules to keep them from spraying or do you, are they already, uh, is there something they do to keep them from spraying? Yeah. So then that takes the fear away from it then, right? And they are loving pets then. Would you, if you had a choice between a skunk and a, a cat, would you take a skunk any day or what? Oh, of course, but I still take the cat too. Oh, you would? Oh, <laughs> good answer, okay. Because I have a cat at home too, so I already got that pair. And they get along all right? She wants something to do with them. She loves to wear Ah. That's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Flash. How you doing? Are you Flash Gordon? <laughs> well, thank you. This is one of the, you pay a dollar and you can pet him. And Michelle's got a dollar. There you go. Right after her, there you go. How long have you owned your skunk? This one's seven, but I got my first one in 2005. Yeah? And I've been to every skunk fest since 2008. Yeah, not on the head, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to, like, you know, I'm sorry. No. He's never bitten anybody, but we can't be like this. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. If there was a bite, this yeah. would be a major problem. Okay. I think they boxes around the house. Just like normal like cat litter boxes they use or Yeah on all skunks are different. Uh-huh. I use the litter. Some people say never use litter, they eat it. Mine's never eaten it. Yeah. Some use newspaper or just yeah. or just uh potty pads for like dogs and things. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that but the head and... No that's okay. It's not gonna hurt him. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. You're you have a good one. You have a good holiday. You too. Thank Sorry you for coming. Okay, Michelle, now that you got to touch the skunk, what? you got to touch its head. You weren't supposed mm -hmm. to touch its head. Yeah. But you did, yeah, touch, it, did, did it touch its back a little bit, I guess? Yeah, it's just like a kitty cat. You just got to pet it nice and soft so it doesn't, like, turn. Well, been, they yeah. were really afraid of touching the head could yeah. cause it to you bite. Know, bite you, and there's a yeah. liability thing involved yeah. in that. I don't think they can spray. I think they have their diffusers. Their, their, it's that's not operational. But Skunk Haven mm -hmm. helps match people with adoptive skunks. Believe it or not, they have an online application on skunkhaven.net. So if you guys are interested in, you know, owning and, and loving a skunk, they can help set that up for you guys. I'll put a link to their website in the description. Okay. So you're glad you came, aren't you, Michelle? Yes, I am. This was pretty fun. And we're waiting on Jason and Kathy. They're going to get their picture and with a, a skunk over there. So they, they take donations, you know. It's really just to help out a good cause, to help make awareness to um, skunks. skunks. And that they're actually, you know, cool pets. If just, you uh, just, if you know how to be responsible with them, yeah. you know. They, they, they he that skunk uses a litter box with litter. Yeah. And, but skunks don't like litter. They some, like news, news some food. can be different. Yeah, yeah. They don't all are the same. There's different ones that different yeah. likes and stuff. Just like people, right? That's right. All right. Okay, Jason and Kathy are getting their turn at the at the skunk. We're gonna put, I guess, a skunk in her lap. She's brave. And I think that gets put into a, like a, a picture, like a little, like a memorial type thing. Her cats are gonna probably be mad at her if she doesn't clean up afterwards. Wow.
Yeah, that's so cool. I would be nervous. That's cool. He's blocking my view. All right. What did you think, Jason, Jason, what did you think, and Kathy, of being there in the midst of that skunk like that? It smelled not like our feet, so. Yeah. Yeah, he, he did, even though I know they're descented. Kinda yeah. It had, a, to me, an old wet dog smell to Yeah. Him. It could have been the pad, but I think it was the skunk. But he was cute. And that's the picture you guys yeah, got? That's a good picture. I love it. Yeah. So you didn't feel scared or nothing like no, that, were you? No, no. Not at all. I wanted to pet him, but I was kind of containing myself. So you got that knocked down. off your bucket list, right? I did. I told Ed, thank you for fulfilling my dreams. See, yeah, now your life is complete. You got to... <laughs> not quite. <laughs> all right, let's keep it going. Yeah, that was cool, though. I'm, Michelle got to pet one. You got to... That's yeah, really I got cool. To yeah. I think we're going to get out of here unscathed. Here's another pet owner of a skunk over here. Wow. Oh. That is so cute. What's her what's her name? This is Gidget. Gidget? Uh -huh. Alright. How long how long have you owned Gidget? For a year and a few months. Are you still scared at all? Or have you gotten past that already? Oh, I was never scared of a skunk. Really? Why, you got more guts than me then. I've always admired them. Uh, my wife petted one for the first time just a few minutes ago, and uh -huh. she says it's like petting a cat. Oh, just yeah. you, and So it's she's ready to soft. get one now, okay? <laughs> well, and the more I learn about that, I grew up in the desert where we had scorpions. They will eat them. I was like, they're my new favorite animal. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. We got a winner. What's your, what's your name? Masha. <laughs> she's last year's fourth place winner. Oh, the queen. I'm hoping for best tail this year. Now, how long are they when they're full grown? Do they have like a, a like? Is that common to be that long of a tail? Or? I've seen longer. I've seen shorter. Really? It just depends on the skunk. Uh, we've had mini skunks that are only this big, not including their tail. Uh huh. Now the other person was saying that you could some skunks like litter boxes and some don't. What do you do with, when it comes to that? Do they? Oh, uh, we just pray. <laughs> Do you have Pray like and a clean place? up a lot of poop. Is it like a place where they go outside? Or? They usually pick where they want to go and then you hide the litter box there. Really? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we got a winner. Pull a prize off the table. That was pretty cool. That was Mike back there who runs that. And yeah, every time you talk to a different owner, they say something different about what it's like to take care of their skunk. So it is true. Each one is their own person, I guess, or their own skunk. So you got to learn how that skunk is and adapt adapt mm -hmm. to the way that skunk is you don't tell them what to do they pretty much will tell you how you got to treat mm -hmm. them right yeah <laughs> just like a, a, a husband that, uh, use you toilet paper <laughs> God, i can't believe you just said that thanks michelle <laughs> god I know I'm a Van Halen fan. There was a Van Halen t-shirt from their 1988 tour, and it was $40. And I'm like, wow, that's how much uh, concert shirts are going for from the concert when they're actually coming out. So I know she's like, oh, it's a vintage. Yeah, I get it. But I'm $40 now. That's not happening. All right, I think they're ready to go. Thank you for joining us at this Skunk Festival 2024. Did you guys have a good time at the Skunk Festival? This is pretty cool. We're gonna. Have, I, we may have to do this again next year. There you go. Plan around it. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you to it. Okay. But hey, is, you could say that you pet a skunk. I petted a skunk. Even Michelle pet a skunk. All the. I don't think Jason pet a skunk no, though, I don't did he? Think he did. But knowing because he's from originally Portsmouth, I'm yeah. sure he's petted a skunk before in his life. Okay. All right. Thank you everyone for joining us, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope that you, next time you see a skunk, be nice to them. They have feelings too. All right. Thank you everyone for watching today's video all the way through to the end. But it doesn't have to end here. Hit the button over there for the link to our upcoming videos. Stay safe and have a great indoors day.
拜拜。